You know, Jim, I, I think one of the one of the tacks we've, we've tried to take is, you know, we, we can't afford to go out and, and describe a, a complex set of requirements that are peculiar to our needs. But our components, particularly the uh, warfighting uh, military departments, they are uh, they're in the fight trying to be at the edge, which which is a kind of a, a different uh, operational context than, than many of the commercial products are building to. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to orient at where these conversations are happening and about standards and assurance levels. For example, the NIST uh, document, as well as uh, talking about the iGov specification mm -hmm. for, for assertions, you know, how do we get our requirements into those bodies uh, upstream, so we're talking about the capabilities the department needs, so that when a commercial product arrives, it's going to meet our needs out of the box, right. instead of trying to put together what we think the future holds, and then four years later, when we've gone through the acquisition right. process, it doesn't really work anymore, and it's too expensive to maintain. Excellent point.